he covered Final just part. a few days ago a white on male Indisputable, stabbed a cop multiple a times. A white male who was wanted for murder who actually stabbed a police officer multiple times <laughs> inside of a home with other cops. And that person was not killed. Put up the picture of that criminal. They do not mm. shoot this white man. But the cops but what shoot do the we black man in the head. Check See, the man my you're looking at, videos. his name is Matthew Lands. Matthew Lands stabbed an officer multiple times inside of a Sandy Springs, Georgia home. Was released from the hospital late Friday after that incident and then taken into custody according to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. The GBI said it was asked to take over the case. Now there's some interesting facts here. The guy was already wanted for murder. He committed burglary inside of somebody else's home. You had multiple police officers inside of the home begging and pleading with the white male, please come down, Mr. Bad Guy. We don't want to hurt you. He comes down the stairs. They don't rush him. There's no SWAT. There's no grenade. There's no shooting. He comes downstairs. He finds one of the cops and he starts to stab that cop. Put up the picture of him stabbing the police officer. That police officer could have died. Multiple stab wounds repeatedly in the back. Check my recent videos to neck. see the full story. Police said the officers attempted to use a taser on lands without success. So what happened? All of these cops even after Lands fought the police, stabbed the police. They still fought with them, tried to use tasers. They didn't try to use a gun. The fight goes from inside of the house to outside of the house. Still, nobody kills him. And then a cop shoots to wound him outside of the home. He is at that time arrested, taken to a hospital, and then later booked. He will have due process. So the question is, why is it that Mr. Lance posed a much more significant threat to law enforcement, had already proven that he's willing to kill law enforcement? Why is it that his life was spared? Why was his life valuable to the cops who decided not to kill him? Why did he?